Hello guys, welcome to Mind Diaries. I started the journey with Russian literature. In this video, I'm talking about Anton Chekhov, his life, his career, his literary works on the side, and his death. I wish you have made your coffee, sit back, and enjoy the video. Stay with me. Anton Pavlovich Chekhov, the Russian playwright and the master of modern short story, was born on January 29, 1860, in Taganrog, Russia. He was the second child of the family. His father, Pavel, was a grocer and frequently in financial trouble. This indicates that Anton Chekhov belongs to the worker class of the society. His father compelled his son to serve in his shop, also conscripting him into a church corps, which he himself conducted. His mother, Evgenia, who lighted the flames of literature in Anton's mind as the first person. She loved the storytelling, so she shared her love with Anton and his five siblings while he was still a kid. Despite the kindness of his mother, childhood remained a painful memory to Chekhov. Although it later proved to be a vivid and absorbing experience that he often invoked in his works. In 1875, when Anton was just 15 years old, his father's business failed. Pavel bankrupted, so he took the family to Moscow to look for another work, while Chekhov remained in Taganrog until he finished his studies. Four years later, finally Anton joined his family in Moscow and enrolled at medical school. At that time, his father was still struggling with his job and income, so the young Anton started supporting the family with his freelance writing. In local magazines, he produced a lot of short comic pieces under different pen names. Anton Chekhov graduated as a physician in 1884 and practiced medicine in a region near Moscow and began to publish his works, but this time with two differences. No more comics, serious fiction works, and no more pen names under his own. Name. His pieces appeared in the newspaper New Times and then as part of collection such as Motley Stories. His story The Step was an important success for him that in 1888 he earned the Pushkin Prize. Like most of Chekhov's early works, it showed the influence of the major Russian realists of the 19th century such as Leo Tolstoy and Fyodor Dostoevsky. Gradually, that serious wind absorbed him and soon predominated over the comics. Chekhov also wrote works for the theater during this period. His earliest plays were short farces. However, he soon developed his signature style, which was a unique mix of comedy and tragedy. Plays such as Ivanov and The Wood Demon told the stories about educated men of the upper classes coping with debt, disease, and inevitable disappointment in life. Anton Chekhov wrote many of his greatest works from the 1890s through the last few years of his life. In his short stories of that period, including War No. 6 and The Lady with the Dog, he revealed a profound understanding of human nature and the ways in which ordinary events can carry deeper meaning. In his plays of these years, Chekhov concentrated primarily on mood and characters, showing that they could be more important than the plots. Not much seems to happen to these lonely, often disparate characters, but their inner conflicts take on great significance. Their stories are very specific, painting a picture of pre-revolutionary Russian society, yet timeless. Chekhovian style, or Chekhovian adjective, 
of relating to or characteristics of Anton Chekhov or his writings especially as they are evocative of a mood of introspection and frustration. From the late 1890s onward, Chekhov collaborated with Konstantin Stanislavski and the Moscow Art Theatre on production of his plays, including his masterpieces, The Seagull, Uncle Vanilla, The Three Sisters, and The Cherry Orchard. During this collaboration in 1901, Chekhov married Olga Knipper, an actress from the Moscow Art Theatre. He was a literary artist of laconic precision who probed below the surface of life, laying bare the secret motives of his characters. Chekhov's best plays and short stories lack complex plots and need solutions. Concentrating on apparent trivialities, they create a special kind of atmosphere, sometimes termed haunting or lyrical. Chekhov described the Russian life of his time using a deceptively simple technique devoid of obtrusive literary devices, and he is regarded as the outstanding representative of the late 19th century Russian realist school. In 1904, while staying at a Hof resort in Begenwiller, Germany, he died in the early hours of July 15th at the age of 44. It's been a long time since I haven't had champagne. This was his last words before death to his wife Olga. Chekhov is considered one of the major literary figures of his time. His plays are still a stage world world and his overall body of work influenced important writers of an array of genres including James Joyce, Ernest Hemingway, Tennessee Williams, and Henry Miller. This Russian writer is recognized as a master of the modern short story and a leading playwright of the late 19th century and early 20th century. That was an interesting life that he had. Now let's go to see the list of his entire works, his short stories, the Chameleon, The Bat, The Lady with the Dog, Gooseberries, Ward Number 6, Ionich, The Man in a Case, Boys, Kashtanka, Fat and Thin, Misery, The Student, Wanka, The Darling, The Death of Clerk, The Grasshopper, White Bro, The Duel, Let Me Sleep, A Male Factor, A Horsey Name, Children, The House with the Mezzanium, The Black Monk, The Fish, Rothschild's Violin, In the Ravine, Three Years, A Dreary Story, The Fiance, The Complaints Book, Anne on the Neck, My Life, The Runway, The Bishop, Grisha, A Doctor's Visit, The Witch, Anilta, The Chorus Girl, The Huntsman, Ariadne, At Home. A story without title, the story of an unknown man. This was the long list of his short stories, and now let's review his plays. The Cherry Orchard, Three Sisters, The Seagull, Uncle Vanilla, Ivanov, The Beer, A Marriage Proposal, The Wood Demon, The Wedding, Platonov, a tragedian in spite of himself, on the harmful effects of tobacco, the festivities, swan song, Tatiana Rapina. Thank you for watching this video. I wish you've enjoyed this video. Please share this channel with your friends who are interested in these fields and write down your comments below to help me improve the next videos. Thank you very much. Have a nice time and goodbye.